Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Way Report, established in 1997, one of Timer Digest's top-ranked stock market timers. And while I've been trading and been around since 1997, relatively new to YouTube, so I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button, the reminder bell, the like, make comments and share. I appreciate all of your patronage to the channel. And uh, I do have uh, a long track record of trading, but uh, recently, three years ago, I started our short-term day trader service. Um, you can see we average over 700 trades a year, and uh, last year we moved our futures tra uh, shoot, I'm sorry, futures trades over to Striker. So if you don't want to sit around in uh, front of your computer all day and uh, trade like I do, you can contact Striker Securities and they will auto trade Woodson Wave Report signals, <clears throat> excuse me, in the futures for you. Okay, we have a, a couple of new things today. We're going to go over uh, S&P. We're going to look at Bitcoin. We'll look at MARA also. We had a, a request for that. So um, let me uh, look here real quick. We're going to go over our uh, Fibonacci time spiral. You can see this one that I started back in September. Caught every alternating high and low through the 55-day low. Uh, at um, on October 30th and after that it caught the high a spike high on December 9 and a subsequent spike high on January 26 next turn date in the sequence is April 23 we'll see if that continues to mark highs or what the market will do so with that said let's get right into our uh, S&P analysis you can see a little review here on our daily chart from the March lows we have a one up a two down a three up, a four down, and wave five gains equality with wave one at our long, long time standing target of 39.96. Okay, so uh, it would be nice if uh, it would hit that 39.96 on that April 23rd. Uh, not sure that that'll happen, but uh, we'll take price and time. But I'll take price over time if there's any conflict between the two we'll see how it plays out so far so good so let's look uh from that october 30th low that we mentioned here we are looking at a four hour chart there is wave one up of intermediate degree a degree wave two down and you can see three up here you can see the fractals within here we have minor waves one two three and four within the third minor wave we have minute degree waves of one two three four and five ideally a uh, wave three gained equality at 39.23 the high today was 39.18 it came within five points we want to allow for a move up there it's okay if it moves down in four and uh, from that high because it's not that wave three can't be smaller than one it just can't be the smallest wave if it ends up there, then we might expect wave five to uh, truncate a little early. We'll see how this plays out, but I would allow for a move up to 39.23 and possibly higher tomorrow before this thing corrects down. Okay. Uh, when it does, we're going to look at these targets here for the uh, fourth wave. You can see our one, two, three, four, five there for intermediate wave three, which we again had the target of 39.23. There's the five points. It fell just short. It could still reach it tomorrow, like I said. But from those, uh, from that 39.18 high, we're looking at wave four targets of 37.60, 37.12, or 36.65. And retracements like to go to the area of the previous fourth wave. So right in here between, <clears throat> excuse me, the 382 and a 50% retracement would be a nice place for this correction to fall. And then we can... Uh, calculate our wave five target from there okay so near term we're looking for a pullback and then another rise up in wave five of five of five could be more fives of bigger degrees okay so that's what we're looking at there so look for that pullback but after maybe a little bit higher high tomorrow morning let's look at bitcoin we haven't looked at bitcoin in a while and we still have it up from uh last time so uh again from the march lows we have a one up a two down looks like a three up and a four down in this case wave three looks like it attained a 3.618 multiple and came down in a wave four 
So let me uh, take that off of there if we can. That was left over from last time. Let's look at this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, these numbers are a little bit off here. I think a two will go down here. <clears throat> One will go up here. Let's see what uh, way four retraced. And there we go. Almost right at the 382 there. You can see fourth wave low right there. So let's look at... Uh, Let's leave that up there. Let's get a fifth wave target. This will be quite an extension. And these won't be exact because I'm not making sure I got it exactly on there. That high looks higher there. Let me throw that under four there. Let me move one over to be a little more exact. There we go. And we have a target there. Well, that would be a double with three. So we're probably going to go higher than that. How about 51? 481. Well, we're going to get a little bit more exact than that. Let's uh, remove the retracement. Let's drill down to an hourly bar and look from that fourth wave low there. Okay, let's see what we get here. Let me fix that up a little bit. There we go. And let's do a little ex extension here if we can from that low there. We've got a one and a two. Boy, look at that. Look at that. Three is a 1.618. Let's start labeling this stuff here. This is exciting stuff. It's amazing how this, I didn't know where this was going. I just did this cold. Three is a 1.618, which is normal. Let me throw five up there. We know that's good, so let's get these out of the way. Okay, remove that. Okay, so we have a one, two, and a three, and a four. Let's get a pullback for four. Boy, that is a perfect Fibonacci 1.618. Let's get the wave three. There we go. We could look for our four in here between the 382 at 41,000. I'm sorry, 42,135, 40,233, and 38,330. Okay, and then uh, let's push five up into here. Let's see what we get if we can get a wave 5 equal to wave 1. And we'll use one of those Fibonacci retracement levels for where five, 4 will terminate and 5 will begin. So there's 1. Let's say 4 ends here at the 50%. We get uh, 52.13. See if I can move that. We go to 6.18. It comes down to the double top here with three. Okay, and let's go to the 382. There we go. That's a little more tidy. That puts us right into that uh, 51, 481, or 52,000 right in there. That's a pretty tight cluster. And if I took my time and did this, I'll bet those would be a lot closer. We could tidy it up a little bit, but uh, we're looking right at a fourth wave decline here, probably to the 382 around 42,000, and that's 158, and then um, a move up over 5,000. So Bitcoin is tracking uh, just like the S&P. Looks like it put in a third wave high, look for a fourth wave pullback, and then another wave up five, five up to complete the five wave pattern from the March low. And We'd have to get back into the daily chart to show that, yeah, and we've got that... Uh, there we go. Lots of lines, but um, that's what we're looking at as far as Bitcoin. Let's look at MARA, if we will. And again, that's tracking up. We've got that from the uh, the lows in October. And there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's a perfect uh, five-wave advance. Let's get a retracement of that and see what we're looking at. Let me move this. Excuse me. Let me move this over. Get the bottom there. That'll work better. Okay. Excuse me. Let's get this uh, e retracement. Here we go. And that's five waves up. And you can see that hit right near the 50% retracement before we started taking off again. Okay. So uh, that looks like five completed waves in MARA. Okay. And then we've got a decline. So you could call that a one and this a two let's um let's give a little extension here 
That's five ways completed. That's a decline in two. And there we go. So three equals one at 42.14 and a 1.618 at 58.47. Okay, so that's what we're looking at there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. That could be three ways up there. Let's, um, you guys got those numbers there, 42.14 and um, the 1618 is 58.47. I'm going to wipe that off so there's not too many lines in the way. Let's get an extension of this hourly here. We just wanted to pull that over. We didn't want to do that. Here we go into, yeah, that's five there and there's a decline. So let me figure out what we're going to have here from this low, this fourth wave low. We got one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's a pullback. That might not be right on that line, but it's close. You can see three equaled one right there at 3684. And that looks like a one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we look at like we had a one, two, and a three, maybe a fourth wave pullback, and then a five up. So you can see the gaps here. Typical of third waves, a gap in one of three, a gap in three of three. Okay, so uh yeah, that's what we're looking at for uh for MARA, okay? So that's a quick update, little review on the S P and uh little um technical analysis on Bitcoin and on MARA. Okay, there's our review on the S&P. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care everyone.